Although Toyota did blow it when it came to electric vehicles, the Japanese automotive titan is making a comeback with a fury. Now that it has gotten its business back on track, Toyota is making a significant splash by releasing seven brand new electric vehicles. So, what is Toyota doing to claim its place at the top? And what EVs are they offering and working on right now? Hi, I'm Fred and let's answer these questions. But first, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and let's get to it. When you were once at the top of an entire industry but were passed by competitors who entered later, the next step is to attempt to mount a comeback. However, in order to reclaim the title you once held, your comeback will need to be spectacular. There is no other firm that can compete with Toyota in terms of its ability to execute the comeback that it is planning. Because Toyota was unable to convert its early lead with hybrid electric vehicles into a tangible market dominance, the company is now left to map its comeback to the area of the automotive market for entirely electric cars. Toyota's stance against electric vehicles lasted two decades. The world's largest and most successful automaker said its gasoline hybrids would be the most effective and realistic solution to reducing vehicle emissions until about 2030, when its hydrogen fuel cell cars will be available to the public. However, there was Tesla. Millions of people worldwide are already driving vehicles made by the California startup company. And with any luck, it will make history as the first American automaker to be founded from scratch in a century. CEO Akio Toyota, the main antagonist in Toyota's tragic EV history, unveiled the company's ambitious new plans to increase production of battery electric vehicles in the middle of December. In terms of output and financial gain, Toyota made some bold claims. In a 25-minute press conference, Toyota announces an annual production target of 3.5 million battery electric vehicles by 2030, out of 10 million Toyota vehicles sold annually around the world. There will be no less than 30 different Toyota and Lexus vehicles across all price points. Plus, he promised an astounding $70 billion for electrification overall. Stellantis organized an electrification day in July to reveal a global investment of $35 billion in electric cars. General Motors and Ford have also put on quite a show competing to see who can build the largest EV battery and assembly plants in the United States. There have been numerous announcements of battery factories and dozens of all electric models around Europe. Each month, more automakers add their names to the growing list of those who have committed to building EVs for sale around the world. Toyota's first battery electric vehicle, the RAV4 EV, hit the market 25 years ago. However, the vehicle was only sold in the state of California as a compliance car, which is defined as a vehicle sold in only the quantities and geographic areas required to comply with regulatory criteria. Because of this, the company could keep its license to sell cars in the state. The EQ, an electric variant of the IQ, debuted in 2012 followed by a fleet of similarly compact EV commuter vehicles. Although Toyota's production ran smoothly for a while, it abruptly stopped after only 100 units were made. Toyota, meanwhile, has established an entirely new line to promote its recent shift in emphasis to electric vehicles. Beyond Zero is the name of the vehicle series. The series cars are built on the ETNGA platform developed in tandem with Subaru. When the fourth generation Prius debuted at the end of 2015, it was the first Toyota model to be built on the Toyota New Global Architecture, a modular automobile platform used by several Toyota and Lexus products. A wide range of vehicle sizes and drivetrain options, including front, rear, and all-wheel drive, 
are supported by TNGA architectures. However, Subaru uses a different name for its Electrify platform. Toyota says the Beyond Zero name reflects the company's commitment to offering customers more than just zero emissions. According to the manufacturer, the BZ series was marketed for high-demand BEV markets, including China, North America, and Europe, with a human-centered design philosophy. To recap, Toyota has unveiled the BZ4X, an all-electric sport utility vehicle. More all-electric variants will soon join it. The BZ Small Crossover will be the smallest of the bunch and is designed with urban driving in mind. The plastic body wrapping and the red paint job make it a jacked up hatchback. The 2022 Toyota Aigo X, a subcompact car with a combustion engine designed to compete in the A segment, demonstrates a similar design philosophy. The new low-emissions compact crossover was designed with the European Union and Japan in mind. Toyota also offers an electric car called the BZ SDN. It's a great choice as the first automobile for a family because of its competitive pricing in the mid-size class. Its flat floor and generous back legroom should be the outcome of its unique electric vehicle platform. The BZ Large SUV is the largest of the bunch, and it can seat seven people comfortably thanks to its innovative three-row design. Sleek in appearance with slender lighting and pop-out door handles, its relatively flat roofline is designed to maximize headroom in the back. Toyota has not yet revealed the interiors of any of the four concepts, so all the windows were covered. However, Toyota has ambitions for its pricier Lexus brand. The RZ SUV is the company's first step towards electrifying the Lexus lined up by 2030. The BZ4X SUV, equipped with features like an optional solar roof and a steering yoke identical to that seen in the newest iteration of the Tesla Model S, is now available from Toyota. Toyota's wing-shaped steering yoke uses a steer-by-wire system meaning there's no physical link between the steering wheel and the wheels. Drivers can turn the yoke side to side up to 150 degrees without taking their hands off the wheel. The company claims this will simplify U-turns and other maneuvers because drivers won't have to switch grips while steering. Although the Subaru Solterra may soon follow, the BZ4X is the first production electric vehicle to be constructed on the new ETNGA platform. The BZ4X will have all-wheel drive, better visibility, and regenerative braking. Thanks to the platform's support for these features and the vehicle's standard steer-by-wire technology, Toyota claims that the new instrument cluster, which places the screen behind the steering wheel, would increase visibility for the driver. The primary infotainment screen is hovering above the dash instead of incorporating it. Toyota has not yet fully embraced the digital user experience like firms like Tesla, as evidenced by the presence of several physical buttons in the center console and on the steering wheel. When sketching out the general shape of the BZ4X, Toyota designers look to the hammerhead shark for ideas. Nonetheless, comparisons to the Toyota RAV4 are unavoidable. Toyota states that the solar roof can produce enough energy for an additional 1,800 kilometers of annual driving. Like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Ford F-150 Lightning, the car is capable of vehicle-to-home charging. Toyota has stated that the starting MSRP for the BZ4X base front-wheel drive model will be $42,000 with a limited all-wheel drive model beginning at $48,780. Compared to the Chevrolet Bolt EUV and the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the BZ4X base model has an estimated EPA range of 252 miles. In addition, Toyota has released a teaser image of the first Lexus EV, the RZ450E. Indeed, Toyota has impeccable taste in nicknames. This all-electric SUV with a polarizing design was first introduced in December. 
Given that it has the same ETNGA platform as other Lexus models, we can make some educated guesses about its specifications. The RZ450E features a smaller, almost relic-like version of the luxury brand's signature spindle grille. Toyota had to get inventive there because electric vehicles don't need a lot of cooling. Therefore, they don't have radiators as cars do. The spoiler on the RZ450E is built inside the vertically oriented hatch. Perhaps as a result of wind tunnel testing, the backlight enters this body panel at an exceptionally acute angle. Now, Toyota has not yet released official details, but we can anticipate a range similar to that of the BZ4X and a variety of wheelbase and drivetrain options. So, what do you think of Toyota's releases and announcements about their all-electric cars? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before you go, if you want to support this channel more, please consider trying our Super Thanks, where your comments will be highlighted, and join our membership program to support this channel more. And please, do note that we are trying to improve our quality of content, and your tips and recommendations to enhance it will be highly appreciated. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Again, this is Fred. And don't forget to like this video and see you next time.